ladies and gentlemen, we are live. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Live Hour, Evening Edition, Late Night Edition. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Live Hour. And tonight's show, we have the privilege, pleasure, and honor to invite to our channel from tech to rep. We're gonna hear the story of a wonderful friend of mine. He's been on the channel before, but he, he's gonna be here tonight with us live and you don't wanna miss tonight's show. So with that, let's go ahead and bring our, our, our guest here to the stage. Let's go ahead and hit the like button, everybody. <laughs> and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Live Hour. Go ahead and introduce yourself, sir. Who do we have the pleasure of seeing here tonight? What's up, brother? How you doing, man? Good evening, sir. Good evening. Uh, well, I want to introduce my wife, Rolanda. Hi, everybody. My son, Sebastian. Hello. My son, Antonio. Hello. And uh, they're, they're, they're pet Odin there. <laughs> <laughs> They saw your dog walking in the background. <laughs> oh, big head? Yeah, he's back here somewhere around here. <laughs> Beautiful family you have, Reg. Thanks, so, man. So, guys, before before we begin tonight's show, I would love to tell you how me and Brother Reg uh, met. I, I love telling this story. <laughs> it never gets old. So, about, what, 2020, I think it was? Yeah, the 2020 year 22. of ASTI, right? 2022. Was it? It was St. Pete. Yep. Yeah, St. Pete. Yep. Yeah, it was right before COVID. Yep. So, so anyway, here I am, an aspiring YouTuber. Ah, Lord knows, I probably had two two K subscribers. But you know, <laughs> for me, listen, for me, two K subscribers in the appliance repair industry, that was like a milestone. You know, in my opinion. So. You know, I was quote unquote feeling myself, if you will, and entered this uh, gentleman here with a compass uh, uniform on. I seen him and I said, oh, yes, this is a match made in heaven. I made my way over to him. I said, uh, I, look, I didn't know his name or anything. So I looked at his name tag that was on his chest and I said, uh, Reggie, I know you don't know me, right? But listen. I'm doing this thing on YouTube. I got a pretty big following. You know, I'm a kind of growing into being a somebody. He looked at me and said, hey, how many subscribers do you have? I told him, man, like 2K. And he was like, oh, yeah? Go ahead and look me up. And here I am all confident and stuff. Like, oh, poor soul. I hate to make a <laughs> So I, 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 I go ahead and I type in his channel, right? Which, by the way, go ahead and drop that shameless plug. Appliance D, I, what is it called? Uh, Man's Long Do, uh, Washer Dryer Repair Tips for DIYers. That's but you, you can always find me by hashtag lean on your rep. Well, hashtag <laughs> lean on your rep, right? So here I go. Here I go. I put hashtag lean on my rep, right? <laughs> on my phone. And I had to take a double take. That thing said 24 point something K subscribers. I said, whoa, oh. <laughs> so since that day, you know, I've always, Reg has been somebody that, you know, I love collaborating with. You know, he's a big deal, big uh, shop. And Reg, thank you for being on the show with your beautiful family. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you, brother. And I got to add too, man. Uh, I was like, yeah, I got a YouTube channel. He's like, my man, I ain't never heard of you. <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny, man. But but I, I I seen you. It was I think at one point you were like out. You used to be outside after you after work. I think it was in your truck. And uh, you man, you were just talking like man. You're in the, you're in the barbershop. You know what I mean? Well, uh, brother, tonight is not about me. Tonight I have a special guest in the building. And the title is from tech to rep, yeah. right? That's right. So with that out the way, let, let's begin. Let's speak. And, and, and please give your wife the proper introduction, young man. Who's this <laughs> rock? My queen. This this? Uh, hey, I'll tell you one thing. is not too many women that will put up with a brother bringing a wash machine in the middle of the living room in our one-bedroom apartment. <laughs> 
and trying to figure out how to fix it. <laughs> Been with me since day one, man. And, and I see you got the two little ones. Go ahead yep. and shout them out. What's their names? Who yep, have yep, the pleasure yep. of being on the show today? Yeah, Antonio, Sebastian. Yeah. And uh, they will run circles around anybody in, in, in fixing dryers. Yes. <laughs> so, so you're already showing them the family secrets. The family oh, yes, business. sir, man. Uh, you know, when I, I was uh, a flipper, man, they would, uh, I have knock out my dryers for me. So Listen, right yeah. now, they right now they may not I'll appreciate it, right? <laughs> But when they get a little bit bigger and they start wanting special sneakers and this right. and that, and they come up to you and say, Daddy, we need a couple a couple dollars. I'm sure it'll be a nice time for you to say, son, there's that dryer in the living room. Go on and fix that thing. Absolutely. And, you know, one thing I always tell them is, you know, they're in college and pursuing a career. Or they could be a high-level executive, but if they're between jobs, something you can always do, go grab your tube bag. You'll never be broke. And they've done it before, Brandon. <laughs> and Daniel, uh, one of our oldest wanted a Nintendo Switch during COVID. And we told him, you have to earn it. Uh, we can't, we're not going to buy it for you. You have to earn it. And he started fixing dryers with his dad. And Joe, he saved enough money to buy his own Nintendo Switch. Yep, I we did. did not buy it for him. He bought it all on his own, fixing dryers uh -oh. for his dad. Now, now, Reg, walk, walk me through the beginning of your journey. Because tonight's uh, show is from tech to rep. Rep, yep. How, oh, my God. How, the beginning. did you get into appliance repair? And what was your 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 scope of work? Were you doing sales only? Or were you doing repair and sales? Mm -hmm. Like, walk me through the Reggie uh, uh, 12 years ago. The, okay. the very beginning. Yeah, so uh, number one, I just want to preference things. Hang on one second. Hey, you guys have something going um so i want to preface things with uh you know this this you never know where this business will take you uh i started off doing it as a way of you know it, it's it's a very uh low barrier of entry to entrepreneurship uh and that's what motivated me into it and i had no idea it will uh, take me to where i'm at where uh most importantly i can influence other people uh, and that's how my youtube channel started uh, you know, with fixing something and, and, you know, like fixing a lid switch and be like, man, this was easy to fix. Somebody could feed their family off of this knowledge. And I just wanted to get it out there. Um, but so previously, I mean, I could go way back to my paper route, but we won't go that far back. <laughs> um, uh, I was in the car business uh, in sales and then got promoted to finance and became a finance director. Uh, and, but, you know, so, and that really motivated me to make a change, right? Because the hours are crazy. Uh, you know, when I got out of the car business and I had a Saturday off, it was weird. I'm like, man, this is what people, this is what life is not like on a Saturday. Um, and so, uh, you know, then, and then the housing crash happened in 2008 and I actually became a rep for a finance company and I enjoyed being a rep. You know, I enjoy going around helping business owners, owners uh, with the product that, um, that I had to help increase their business. Uh, so fast forward off from there, I started a moving company, you know, looking for entrepreneurship, bought a truck, you know, it was, was uh, anybody know uh, you, uh, you ship. You ship. <laughs> you ship was the hustle, man. <laughs> uh, you pick up stuff and, and deliver it to people. So anyway, long story short, uh, did that, but you know, it was, it was gone a lot. And so uh, it started with, I went to move a customer that had a one bedroom apartment. She couldn't afford enough money to pay me to move her. And I said, all right, well, just give me a hundred bucks for, for fuel and my helper. And, uh, and she said, well, Hey, you can have my wash and dryer. So I said, a hundred bucks in your wash and dryer set. Cool. Let's do it. And so she gave me that wash and dryer set. I tested it at work. I sold that washer and dryer for more than I would charge her to move her one bedroom apartment. And only if you ever move somebody, man, it takes at least three or four hours, <laughs> right? Um, and I delivered that washing dryer, hooked it up, took all of a 30 minutes. And I'm like, man, I'm in the wrong business. <laughs> where, where, where did you get your technical training from to fix these washers and these dryers? Where did you get your education? He is a PhD YouTuber. So, <laughs> really YouTube is. University, man. He really is. <laughs> he, he has a PhD. 
PhD from YouTube University. So, so it, it, man, it started with, like I was saying, uh, you know, uh, we lived in a, a, a one bedroom, a one bedroom apartment in New Orleans. In New Orleans, um, and I dragged this washer up to the living room. It was a GE, it was a GE washer. I remember it. Yep. And I just took it apart and tried to figure out how to how to fix it. Yep. I walked in from work and he was. I was like, "What are you doing?" It's like, I'm going to figure out how to fix this and I'm going to sell it. And I said, OK, and, and let's I, do it. And I also got a lesson in to never go to the part store without a part number or a model number. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. I took the part and told the lady, I said, hey, I need this. And she was like, <laughs> I, 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 I can't do that. With I need, a, I need a part number or a model number. I said, yeah, but it looks like this. Just find this. It's back there somewhere, right? Like, <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah. so, 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 so you got your training, let's just say, School of Hard Knocks. Good or not? Well, it, it progressed though. So, yeah. um, I, you know, I was always good at figuring stuff out. So, you know, doing it that way though, something that probably would take ten minutes took an hour, right? Um, but then I actually went to Gwinnett Technical College. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was actually looking. You know, at, at the time there was no TMM. You know, I, or I didn't know about y'all. <laughs> mm -hmm. It wasn't um, in existence, right? Yeah. It wasn't a lot of schools in existence other than you know the the uh, the legacy ones way out in Ohio and stuff. Um, even that I contemplated going to those schools, but I'm like, man, I gotta be away from home for two weeks and not make no money. Yeah. That's 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 hard to do. Yeah. Um, and so uh, I went to Gwinnett Tech for HVAC because HVAC teaches a little about a little bit about plumbing, refriger uh, refrigerant refrigeration, uh, electrical, you know, so everything that you need to know to get by with appliance repair, right. You know? Um, so I did that and got to a point, I think like maybe my second semester, uh, is I just got busy and I, I had to make a choice. I said, like, man, I can't do the school thing anymore. I got, you know, the money's rolling in. Um, yeah. So, I, so, so, so that's how I got my education. Okay. So let's fast forward a little bit. You gained the confidence now to say, I'm going to go into business, right? Or do you work for somebody first? How, how, how what's your path to uh, I worked for myself, so no, I, I you know, I was real. What was the, time, name of the company? A team. Oh, let me say it the way I say it. A team appliance. Man, I said it like that in years. <laughs> a did team you, appliance. Did, did you call it a team appliance because of the algorithm, the Google? Yes. It will rank at the top. You. Yep, yeah, old yes. school thinking, man. Yep. <laughs> That's exactly what he did. Um, okay, so so now now you're in the mix. You're full time. There's no turning back now. Right. You're running calls, right? How how are you generating calls? How how so, are you, what's your marketing plan at this point? So so I really started with flipping. So I was I would uh because I number one I didn't want to practice with live ammo, right? I didn't want to, you know I, I did start off going to, in houses and uh I would say you know I would tell people in my my mind for my own confidence I said I got to I could look at YouTube I could look up on internet. I said, worst case scenario, if I don't know what I'm doing, I don't want to take somebody's money uh, if I'm not don't know what I'm doing. So I would just make something up, like, oh, it might be the motor. You know, you know? <laughs> a tech, you never admit that you don't know how to do it. But I was like, you know, I'm not gonna charge you diagnostics. I was charged to the game, you know what I mean? But then I while after a while, I learned. So you know, that's what I'll do. I I, I start picking up appliances. You know, so you're driving down the street. You know, I still got that radar, man. When I'm driving. Me and too. You, me yeah. too. Me too. <laughs> yeah, she be calling me. Hey, there's like, a, hey, there's there's a, a wash on the curb. <laughs> and so that's how I got my inventory, man. I would go around picking up machines off the curb and then learned about wholesalers. And so by uh, trailer loads. Um, and so you, I would practice on my own machines, right? Uh, that's the most efficient way of doing it. It's the most cost effective. Um, and so that's, that's, so I did that and then I would run calls. So the best of both worlds, man, like flipping and doing repairs, uh, and so it's, you take turns getting tired of both, right? <laughs> you get you get a problem customer, or you know you fix something, and you keep going back because you know something you know jacked up with the air ducts or something. Uh, and you're like, man, I, I, I should just I just want to sell appliances. I'm gonna worry about this stuff. And then you sell appliances, and then you do you know some deliveries, and you get tired of going up third floors with, with front loaders. Um, but it was the best of both worlds, though. Uh, sometimes one will slow down, the other will pick up. Uh, good income. Uh, we went on vacation like every like forty five days. We did, um, especially when my store was loaded. Um, whoa, 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 yeah. whoa! Did I hear 
my store my yes. store now here's a cheat code wait no okay what? let me rephrase it brandon our store yes that's right <laughs> but, 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 store. her store <laughs> it was mine it was mine <laughs> give me the proper segue though walk, walk me into that what do you mean a store how, how do we get to that all right so here's the progression right with anybody you start growing and you say man i need a storefront i want a store okay. that's the that's the goals right and so i started looking at the storefronts and uh you know they were like three grand a month uh and you gotta get insurance and all this stuff and then i'm like well i'm not trying to sit at a store all day i have deliveries to do so you gotta hire somebody and so you think about this uh cost that you have to be married to and actually let me take a step back from there it really happened where i was working out of storage units right that's and what it, i was gonna say yeah i yeah. lived in alpharetta georgia and i had storage units with appliances in them yeah and then once you get to like the fourth unit, you're like, all right, I need like a store yeah, or something. A store. <laughs> oh no, I'm not, then you you are an active seller then to have four units. Wow, then yeah. you're pushing product. Yeah. And yeah. who who is responsible on the back end for the marketing on that? Because you got to upload that to Facebook. That was that me, Brandon. That was the right hand right here. That was all me. Yeah, we we, we was uh yeah, we definitely had one two punch, man. I will get it fixed. Send a picture, take pictures, and send it to her. That's the one nice thing about the storage units, too, though, man. Those like you go inside the offices, you put the, the machines in the hallways, it's the right lighting, you know, <laughs> they look good. It took, uh, what, man? I'm sorry to interrupt, but it really oh, took a team. It really took a team. That he will fix them outside, then the boys will help me clean them. We will take pictures. And we were in charge of well, I was in charge of posting them in different social medias. And I would set up appointments for him. And as a family, we'll all go together, deliver and set up all four of us all the time. You know, I, I want to take a moment and give a special shout out to all the women in the appliance industry that is the unsung heroes that help they man do all this kind of stuff on the back end. Mm -hmm. They help them with all the admin stuff, help them with the calls. Yep. You know what I'm saying? This is a, a moment. I don't really shout y'all out enough, and I really need to more, but you guys are so important to us yep. because uh, without y'all, man, it's very hard on a one-man show when everything's on you. Reg, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but do you think you could have did it alone? Almost impossible. No. And... and it, and you talk about the, the, the struggles of a wife. I would say also, um, I would uh, you know not only the the, the back end help, the back office help, um, but man, you, you're worn out at the end of the day. And, and my dad was a mechanic, and I saw the same symptoms of him. Well, you, you come home kind of cranky, right? Because you, you you're fixing stuff and problem solving, and you get tired. <laughs> that wears you down, you know. And unfortunately, sometimes your spouse gets the leftovers of the world. You know? I know. You know, and uh, so, you know, definitely uh, my, my queen here had a lot of, you know, uh, tenacity and patience. <laughs> um, That's where wine comes in. That's where wine comes in. <laughs> yeah, but, but, okay, so look, but, but shout out to you. And now let's fast forward. So now you're in the mix. You got a couple units. You got your, you say, you know what, this ain't going to work. We're gonna get the storefront, mm -hmm. right? Now so, you got the storefront and yeah. the repair side of of things. Let me tell you the storefront though. So, shopping the storefront, I didn't do it right. I, this is a cheat code. So I'm like, all right, I gotta commit somebody to, to being there. And so I didn't want to commit because you know, you know, one month you, you, you're making this, the next month you're making this, next month this, this is you know, it's a roller coaster, right? Uh, I didn't want that long type of stress. So what I did was first I tried to go to laundromats. Oh yeah. And I was did. yeah, and I told a guy I said, let me say, I, I said you got two type of customers. You got a customer that will never buy a, a, a machine. They just love coming to laundromat, and you know they rather spend a few dollars instead of you know the big amount. And you got others who's temporarily here, right? Their machine is down, and they're just in that laundromat temporarily. Let me put this machine in there and you'll capture that. So speaking as large to the people, it didn't work. <laughs> they said, no, 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 I don't want to do that. I don't want to put the machines in here. So I said, I'll put the high-end stuff in here so it's not competing. No. So I found this antique store in Snellville, Georgia called Unique Treasures. 
Uh, mm. Very clean store. It's not a like typical like antique store, just junk piled in. Very clean. And I rented a uh, a corner. Yeah, it was a corner. It was a corner. Maybe like ten by twenty or twenty by twenty. Something. Like that. It was it big. Was a, it was. It was pretty big. It was like twenty by twenty five. Maybe. Yeah, and it was cheat code because yeah. they had their own employees, and they had a, a delivery guy there. Mm -hmm. and, oh yeah. Yeah, and Gary. so yeah, and they had natural <laughs> traffic. But I told them, so I negotiated with them though. And I said, hey, I don't need your customers. I have my own that's going to come in here. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually bringing business into your store. Yep. Um, and that was that was the cheat code, man. So I just paid, I think it was like 400 bucks a month. No, no, wow. Sorry, it was like 350. So 350? Oh, you know, like show numbers. Yeah, I was doing <laughs> all the numbers. 350, and we didn't even have to be in the store at all. So it was $350 a month, and they took care of everything. I was in charge of still posting the inventory on all the social medias, and they have Gary. He will do all the liveries. Yeah. And then so, so I would recommend yeah. people to like, you know, check with like like furniture stores. There's a lot of furniture stores that yeah. want to sell appliances, but yeah. they don't have the text to fix them. It's a headache. But hey, mm -hmm. let me rent a space in your store. You know, yeah. um, you got to be you got to trust them financially because the customer comes in there and buys something and makes you, you know, makes you don't get ripped up. Anyway, <laughs> good business sense. So, yeah, so that's 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 the story of the store. Unique treasures. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Impressive. Impressive. And now, how many how many repair calls were you running at the time in a in a daily average? I would run three to four calls, yeah, and probably sell two to three machines a day. A day. So three yeah. to four calls. Oh, you were home yeah. early then. You probably yeah. got yeah. The no, about well, home about two. Yeah. Well, no, you got the. Well, I started late because I, I was a gym rat, so I was like, man, I go to gym in the morning. Yeah. And then, uh, but the the sales. So the machines okay. made up because the, the, the revenue, right? The, you know, okay. so I sell like a front load set for 800 bucks that I got 150, 200 dollars in. You know what I mean? So that revenue, and then it was quick. Now, like a repair, you're in there diagnosing, mm -hmm. so you're in there for like 30 minutes at the most, uh, installing. Um, and then yeah, then I got to a point where uh because my, my overhead was super low, right? That this I didn't pay a lot for a store. I was my only technician. Um, and so, yeah, I got to a point where I, I got to about two service calls a day and I worked from like 12 to three. Like, wow. <laughs> because I, yeah, it was. What would you, you know, do with the overflow? I was, I was, I was doing good money. I'm making good money. Huh? What would you do with your overflow work? Uh, well, I tried to hire technicians. So I did try to scale. Um, so I tried to hire a technician. Uh, you know, I went through the, you know, Oh, I, you know, I'm doing all the work and, you know, you're splitting it, the, the, the calls and I'm doing all the work and you're getting half the money. You know, I had to go through that that conversation. Well, I'm like, well, you want to have the work money for me. Like, <laughs> um, you know, having people ghost me. So I, I just for me, the challenge was uh, hiring technicians <clears throat> and still trying to run the business. Mm -hmm. And so I took a, a, a strategy of just keeping my overhead low and keeping most of the profits without, you know, not, they're not shelling out the overhead. So still made a good six figure income running that way. Um, so yeah, so that was, that's that story. <laughs> and what was the extent of your repairs? I noticed you talk a lot about washers and dryers. Do you yep. do other services like dishwashers, ovens, fridge? So, yep. so you, you ever heard of the 80, 20 rule? I'm sure you have. Yeah. Oh so, yeah, well, so, uh, uh, fresh brother beef. You know, I'm not all the way. Yeah, eighty percent. Like it's, it's basically in life, you can apply this to anything. Uh, eighty percent your revenue could come would come from twenty percent of your customers. Uh, in the appliance business, I eighty twenty it. Eighty percent of my revenue came from twenty percent. Uh, uh, I guess you could call it a category, right? Um, I focused on washers and dryers because number one, well, I'm in Atlanta, so there's a lot of people coming in and out of the city. So that creates a market, right? That creates new customers and, and inventory from customers leaving. Uh, also, it opens your market because in Atlanta, there's a lot of apartment complexes. And so they're going to come with a refrigerator or microwave oven, but a lot of them don't come with washers and dryers, right? Um, and so I, I had to pick a lane. Um, I was thinking about doing just refrigerators because the, rev, the, the, the margin is way bigger, right? Um, but with refrigerators where delivery is hard to deliver them by yourself. Yeah. You can, but you know, you, you take a lot of risk, scratching stuff up. Um, and also if you miss something, 
right? And we're not, we're not always perfect. But if you miss something or uh, it stops working, it's an emergency. You can't tell a customer, okay, I'll be back tomorrow or, you know, in two days. No, nah, their, their food going bad. And so I didn't like that stress either. So for me, I felt washer and dryers was a great lane um, to, to, move, to, uh, to make revenue. And then you got different categories, right? So I had a great, hey, shout out to Whirlpool and a direct drive washer and dryers. <laughs> um, great product. You know, the transmissions, you can slip out and put it in any, any, any of them. A lot of the products are so interchangeable. Uh, and then you got front loaders, right, which had excellent margin. And also stackables were great because they were hard to find. And you could sell those for, man, you could sell those for like eight, nine, you know, eight, nine hundred dollars at the time, probably way more now. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I just found a lane in washing dryers, man. You know, path of least resistance, uh, still made good money. Um, and then also, too, you know, when you open yourself up to refrigerators, other products, you got to learn them, right? Like washers and dryers, man. Like at this point, I got to a point where I can diagnose it just based off the issue. You know what I mean? Like, did, you, did you do bearings? No, I. I so again, so, and again, low overhead. So I got to cherry pick. So um, you, your 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 thing is boot drain pumps, yeah, inlet valves. Now I've I've done them all. I've done bearings, but okay. then I learned like now this ain't worth. You know, it's it's, it's similar to. Uh, what about um, gear cases? Yeah, so I won't say a manufacturer, but it's, it's a certain uh, washer that I really avoided because of bearing issues. And that's excuse me, not bearing, tub spring issues, right? Um, there were a, a economy, it's an economy washer. And so I just didn't, I just didn't work on them. Even if you replace the springs, you get a call back in six months that spring's going bad again. Um, so there's certain ones I learned to stay away from. Uh, yeah, and bearings issue was it just it was too. So the problem with bearings, right? Like like spider bearing. Um, some of the parts are in LA, right? Um, because it's such a big issue. But then you're there. Like for me at the time, it probably took me uh, maybe three hours, you know, to do one. And nah, they they a while, man. They that's yeah. a serious that, job, bro. That's and how many job. how many dryers can you knock out in that time, <laughs> right? How many washer pumps can you replace in that time? So 80-20, man. 80-20 man, I, I've been doing a lot of I went to STI this year and I, I and and even before going to STI, I've been I've been flirting with it, but I've been doing a lot of upsells. We're talking about dryers with the vent cleaning. Yeah. Shortly thereafter, right? Oh, my dryer ain't heating, blue wow, ah, or my dryer's noisy, or hey, my dryer ain't spinning, or hey, my dryer, whatever. I always throw that in at the end. Listen, you know, when was the last time you had your vents clean? Whoop de woo. And then they'll say, Oh, you know, it's been for look, and I charge I charge 120. Um it depends. I charge anywhere from its complexity, but like 80 to 125. And and I get a lot of yeah, do it do it so that that's def i like drives because of that upsell yeah uh, you know possibility yeah no only challenge is like, well you got to write equipment so i did like if it was going to the pipe was straight i would do that but if that thing went up in the wall and turn i learned my lesson the hard way trying to put and i'm sure this is definitely not the right way to do it now but pushing that broom up that, that brush up there and it hits that turn and disconnects behind the drywall trouble <laughs> they now got a tool for that though do they it's, nice. yeah, it's like a spiral, if you will, right? So as you spin in that spiral, the spiral yeah. makes contact with the with the uh, a stick, right? And, and then you can pull the whole thing back out. But they got this special one that doesn't involve the twist. It's actually a a, a locking, and and it's like spring activated, and it actually clips in. And the key to that is you always have to go counterclockwise. Never go clockwise. Because once you go clockwise, you'll undo it. And if it's deep off in there, psh, man, how are you going to get that out? Right, right. You yeah, know what man. I'm saying? Yep. All right, so so let's fast forward a little. So now you, 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 this, this rep thing. Rep. Yeah. What the heck is that all about? 
And what the heck is this opportunity? What do you mean? We're doing good. We got our storefront. We what's it called? Uh, United Paradise. We got, <laughs> uh, we're running easy jobs. Twelve to three. Yeah. Low yeah. hanging fruit. Living the life. Why but, the heck are we gonna go court? What was that all about? Well, I I, I start off with, with my wife. Please. Uh, so t- tell them the reason why we got uh, life insurance. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so brandon we were, i was sitting in front of our main window of our house of our house now um he was putting a dryer on top of his f-150 and i'm literally mm-hmm. sitting here looking at him through a window with our youngest in my arm oh, and our my oldest god. by my feet right and I'm sitting here watching him and I'm like, literally, like, um, excuse my language, but I literally said to myself, if this dryer or washer falls on this fool, <laughs> literally, I said to myself, I am literally the F word. <laughs> I have a baby in my arm, a baby by my feet. I am completely screwed. I have had not worked for quite a couple of years. Ten years. Ten years. I had I have not worked for ten years. I decided to quit my job to take care of my family, to take care of him, our business, our children. So I'm sitting here and I'm like, if this drive falls on him, I am completely screwed. I haven't worked in ten years. I have no career, no savings account. I'm completely done. We have savings. Well, we had a little (laughs) bit of money, but in my head, I'm thinking. Something happens to him. I'm left with two small children. Young lady, he works out in the gym. That triangle ain't going to hurt him. He yeah, yeah, right. But this is what I'm thinking. <laughs> this is what I'm thinking. And I literally said to him, get dressed. We're going to see our insurance company. And you're getting a life insurance company. You're getting a life insurance policy. And when you think of our future. Right. And let me, let me say a side note, too. Some of you mentioned. Uh, to, to all the wives out there, you know, when you when you when you on your hustle, all your money goes into your inventory. So and, and it, it, it was times she would panic, and I'm like, "Look, babe, as long as we got machines, we good. <laughs> it's a matter of time. Long machine. Now, if if money's low and there's no machines, that's when you panic." There, yeah. <laughs> there is one thing I will always, to this day, say about this amazing husband that God gave me. I never went without what I needed and what I wanted. He always made it happen. If I wanted something that was out of our budget, he always made it happen for me. If I wanted to go out of the town with my girlfriends, he always made it happen because we always had inventory. And it was it, it is a lot of it has to do with the team effort. I trusted what he did, and he trusted that I would be on top of social media, posting constantly, hey, listen, you got to deliver this. It it was a team effort. He did a great job fixing. Anytime I went out and about, hey, I saw a drive down the corner, you better come get it. It was literally a team effort. He fixed, I posted. He fixed, I posted. So so to answer your question, you get to a point, and I'm saying this to all the lone wolves out there, or someone working for a, a company that, that wants to venture out on, the, on their own. Um, do what you feel you need to do, but there's value in working for a good company. Yeah. Um, it's only so much like so when you own your own business, you are marketing, you're accounting, mm-hmm. uh, your customers, you're everything. And in this industry, now you can make a, you gonna make six figures, right? I did it, and, and you know I didn't have to work. I didn't have to work all day, yeah. um, but you can, you can make that same money as a technician for somebody working for someone too. And without the headache of running a business, and you get to go home and enjoy your family, and you uh-huh. walk in, you got you got a route already done because you know that 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 yeah. that business has uh, office support and you know. And you just go out and do your job and go home, and you could, you know, you could pretty much make the same money. Um, 
So, you know, but but for me, scaling was now I would say if I knew what I knew now, and that that's gonna lead into also into the rep thing. Um scaling was difficult for me um with trying to find employees, right? Because you know, just the headache of hiring and then people leaving or ghosting you, and you know, I feel like you're babysitting. Um, but if I knew what I knew now. <laughs> And I didn't know because I, I have never had a rep come visit me. I visited technicians at their storage unit. I visited technicians at their homes in their garage. Mm -hmm. I visit technicians in their shops. And so uh, my we, whole career. We together. Yeah, yeah. Hey, she, that's your role. She's your role, brother. And I, I just, I want to be the rep I wish I had. Yeah. Because uh, I would have wore him out. Him or her, I, I'd be like, man, how are you making money off of warranty work? How are you doing this? Like, how do you, you know? How do you? I would ask, man, I would, and, and so that's, and that's where lean on your rep comes from. No, no, but you're you going know? too far. Wait, wait, okay, you're going too far. <laughs> We're not at that part. Yet. All right, all right. Wait, 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 wait. Respectfully, I want to be a fly on the wall in that in that house of yours, the day that you and Mrs. Williams sat down and y'all said, honey. We got a decision to make. There's uh, this opportunity. There's this opportunity on the table. Yep. And and at the time, forgive me if I'm wrong, but and I know because I, I'm an old school OG Encompass uh, parts uh, subscriber. I, I've been messing with them for a long time now, but really? I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Girl, I used to buy parts in Lawrenceville. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know that. I, I remember the dude who used to work in the in the back. He used to listen to Alex Jones, and he was into conspiracies and stuff. That was my man. But nonetheless, right, I want to know what that conversation was like when you <laughs> was, we going to walk away from independency, Mm. We 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 are the boss, you know. We set our rules, our prices to this new position. Yep, with a whole new set of rules. Mm -hmm. In theory, now you working for somebody. What was that conversation like with you and, and Mrs. Williams, and and were you guys both on board with it? Was was one like, no, no, don't do it, and like I. Tell me the dynamics of that. If you don't care to share, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let him go first. On no matter, my, I'll go. I'll say something. You, you can elaborate. Uh, no matter what she's thinking, her first reply is, "I trust you. Do what you got to do." Yep. But in your head, tell me what you're really thinking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there is one thing with this this man of mine. He always has this elaborate ideas, elaborate ideas, even from the moment we started doing new ship, the moment he started with that one dryer and a one bedroom apartment in New Orleans, he always had these big ideas. I honestly believe that the secret to his success was I always believed in what he wanted to do. Even if behind my head, I'm going, holy cow, how in the world is he going to do this? But I never let it show. I always said, he. I remember the first day I walked in our apartment and he had a dryer in the entire floor. He said, I'm going to learn how to do appliances. And I said to him, by all means, go do it. I went to the bathroom and in my head, I'm like, how in the world is he going to do this? He has no idea how to do this. But I never let him show. Me. I never let him see that side of me. I always trusted in everything that he did. Brandon, when I told you he had thousands of ideas, he had thousands of ideas. Thousands. Not one, thousands. And in every idea, let's do it. We're gonna go together and do it. He's like, I need to buy a uh a, a, a what a moving truck. Let's do it. I need to buy a truck. Let's do it. I need to move this. Let's do it. When the opportunity came for Encompass, he said, hey, I have the chance to apply for this position, X, Y, and Z. Let's do it. Let's do it. I never doubted his capability, his, his dreams, 
his goals that he have set for his family. Even if behind closed doors for me and myself was like, oh my God, Lord Jesus, how is he going to do this? <laughs> I did. I really did. I had a doubt, but I, I cannot let him see that because he is the, the head of the household. He is the one that will provide for our family. So I have to trust that any decision that he makes will be what is best for our family. So I believe to this day that he is successful and he's been successful by the grace of God and by the grace that God has given me to trust every step that he has taken. Well, you know, as an outsider, looking into the overall dynamics of this, I'll say at the time in Compass, they weren't who they were today. Mm -hmm. As mm -hmm. I remind you, I don't know the bolts and the whistles. So I'm an outsider, but mm -hmm. I don't think they had uh, warehouses in Buffalo and in the West Coast. And, <laughs> nah, I think it was just it was just Atlanta. I right. think they only had one branch. Right. So, but none, nonetheless, and, and for real, for real, the the real place in our area was Fox. Yeah. Yes, but clients. Yeah, don't get too happy about that. Oh. Come into the end. Sorry, I'm coming down and not. But listen. No, nah, very cool. Encompassing a, at the time, it wasn't. It, it's not a bad opportunity. And what was the position that you signed up for exactly? What 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 role did you apply for? Well, it was funny, man. It's like you know, like back in the day, right? If if you ever work any job, you had a, like a link, LinkedIn profile. And it was used for uh, like an online resume, right? So I've always had LinkedIn on there. And, you know, uh, once I got to a point where like, man, there's only so many times, uh, how, how much, how many times do I have in me to put the, the drag a front loader up some stairs, right? Um, and so I was actually looking for a rep position in, in finance, what I did before. You know, you kind of go back to, you know, uh, something that you did before that you enjoyed. And so just randomly, I wasn't, I wasn't even looking. I was, I was really fine. I was, it was kind of one of those things. I mean, it, was, it was a mood, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> let me see what's out there. And this thing pop up, uh, parts rep and Encompass. Like, I didn't know parts companies had reps. Like, you know what I mean? I know nothing about this where, stuff. Where, where were you getting your parts for your washer and your dryer? When you were doing Encompass. I used Encompass. And Encompass. Yep. Yeah, and, and who it, was your parts rep? Didn't have one. I just knew you know how I found Encompass? And this is the story. This is the moniker of Encompass. Yeah, that's crazy. If nobody has the parts, Encompass has it, right? I did. So I needed a <laughs> ASCO washer belt. And for some reason, this one was a, a weird size. And no one else had it. And I think I did a Google search, and Encompass popped up. And come to find out, I was driving to a parts store that was 30 minutes from my house mm -hmm. before I knew about Encompass. And I'm like this place, and it comes with ten minutes from my house. I'm like, man, this is a this is the this will work. And then the the the, uh, the prices were better. And it's funny, I was you know that was a you know I didn't get the elite pricing like bigger uh, companies do, and it was still good better pricing than I was getting. Um, I love their strategy of you know you, you walk in and you know you, you already you place your order online, you just walk in and pick it up. Compared to other parts stores, you go in, you get behind a, a retail customer that that was me at, you know, a long time ago without a model number. Hey, you got this back there somewhere, <laughs> um, holding you up. And uh, yeah, so I, I like it. I like that how you did business. And I was like, man, why come more people don't know about this place? Mm -hmm. You know. And uh, you know, to you know, to their defense of time, you know, uh, Encompass was huge in the consumer electronics. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, like gaming consoles, yeah. shavers, electric toothbrushes, well, all type like, of electronics. When TV repair was the, was was TV. what we are now, appliance yes. repair, you know, uh, that was huge. And like, if you didn't have an Encompass account, you weren't getting parts from anywhere because they had everything, still mm -hmm. do. And um, mm -hmm. and, and so uh, yeah, and then uh, progressively moved into a, the uh, appliance business, so. Yeah, so um, yeah, so that's that's okay. that's how I got signed. <laughs> okay, all right. So now, what what happens now to the customers that will call you, right, while you're on this new job? Because yeah. Reggie, I can't lie to you, bro. I may I may get a call tomorrow from somebody that I haven't spoke to in two three years. 
I'm still getting calls, bro. Like, yo, brother B. They don't call me brother B. That's just a YouTube yeah. name. Yeah. But like, Brandon, you fixed my fridge six years ago. You remember me? And I'm yeah. like, who? But you know, I don't tell them that. But I'm like, oh, absolutely. How can I forget? I love, I love all my customers. But nonetheless, right. I get a lot of repeat. How, how are you handling it now? You're in this new position. I, I've got a local. I got a local customer that I have a really good relationship with, and I so I have I have a uh, on Android phones. You can save a, a, a text message, right? So I got this pre written text um, saying, "Hey, I'm no longer fixing appliances, but call my friend; and he'll take care of you." And I have his number on there, um, and so I refer all my customers to him. Um, and also, you know, I want to add too, like the, the, one of the reasons too why I didn't have to like do eight calls a day um, was I had uh, you know the next door app. Oh uh, hell yeah, that's where the local community. Really yeah. Does. Now if you know Georgia Alpharetta is like the high end of, of town, and uh, Peachtree Corners, right? And I had someone uh, put a review for me on there, and man, that thing's been feeding me for the longest. And those customers have front loaders, and they're the easiest to deal with because, like, they just they, they'll cut the check. Hey, long as it doesn't cost as much as a new one, I'll um I'll go ahead, and, big baby. <laughs> long as it doesn't cost the, the 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 amount of a new one, they'll go ahead and cut the check. Listen, I could tell you. Let let me let me let me talk to the community real quick. Listen carefully to my words, YouTube community. It behooves you. It's your mission in life to find somebody who has the next door app in your community. Yeah. Yep. After a repair is done, they will put you, they will put a review about you in that uh, uh, neighborhood app. And once you're the guy in your neighborhood, yep. man, you go. Beautiful. That's a tr that's a tip. Courtesy of TMF. Please hit the like button for that tip. Okay. So now, <laughs> Mrs. Mrs. Williams, brother Reg, you're you're in this new position now. Walk me through what is a parts rep. Walk me through some of the challenges you had to learn. One, two, three weeks ago, you were working on motor couplers. Now you're dealing with 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 businesses and accounts and yep. you know, like like walk me through the learning curve how how we doing there yep so yeah I'm, uh, I'm 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 in my junior year now with encompass so it's like two two years some change um and it's it's not hard you know I, if i wasn't in this industry it'll be a it'll be it'd be a huge learning curve i would say but i so, so now i just feel like hey uh, again, I want to be the rep. I wish I need a battery. You got a battery charger. Um, I wish I. I just want to be the rep. I wish I had. Um, and so, I know everything now. <laughs> I honestly say, I've been to. Uh, I've seen all different types of of business formations, uh, leveraging warranty, COD, uh, flipping. I've seen every type of business model. Um, all the niches. All the niches, man, and you know, at some point, probably around my retirement, some of that I might write write a, a manual. Um, and and I'm, I'm probably, you know, you're, so you ever heard of choose your own adventure books? My, my older brother used to read that to me, man. It's it a book you read, and it'll say turn to page three to cross the bridge, or turn to page uh, twenty to go through the rough rough terrain, and you, you choose your path in the book, and the ending's always different. And it'll be like that for appliance repair. <laughs> you want warranty work? Go this way. <laughs> um, so, so just the knowledge I have. And so, as a rep, I just want to share that. Uh, I think also I'm a lot more relatable uh, to customers. So I, I, I feel I'm very well equipped to help with their needs, right? So, like I say, I sell the same parts my competitor sells, right? So. We got to over service our customers and that's our commitment. Uh, and that's my commitment uh, to my customers because running a business is hard, right? And so I don't want to just supply you parts. I want to be your partner. 
Uh, I want to help you put out fires. Um, that's why we, we offer so many value propositions. We we'll probably get into that too. I want to very lead on that either. Um, and, and so uh, as a rep, uh, you know, you know, I, I can help people get warranty work. Um, everybody asks me for technicians. I can't do that yet. <laughs> Buy me technicians. I, I can't do that yet. Uh, but I can help train the ones you get. Um, let, 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 let's move in now because we're we coming up on the hour. Okay. Let's, let's now move into what is it that you represent? You're now part of, you're, you're, you're the number one. You won an award. Let's talk about that. But like, you're the man. Encompass, what are we looking at? Who is this? Organ? And, and, and Reg, we got about 10, 15 minutes. So okay. I'm going to ask okay. you for a challenge to keep the, the responses less than 30 seconds. I'll do my best. Okay. <laughs> well, no, just so, I can, just so I can jam in a lot of questions. No, I got you. I got you. Um, what so is Encompass? What is Encompass? Encompass is a company you leverage to get parts you need for repairs. Um, and so the value is, right, everybody sells parts. Well, who has the most diverse inventory? That's what you need. The more suppliers you have, the more it kind of costs you in shipping fees. Um, so having a supplier with all the inventory you need uh, is important. So uh, what will also make it, it's weird, man. I feel like I'm not talking to you. Hang on. I'm listening. I know. You're listening and cutting this. I'm listening to everything. Um, and so, uh, yeah. So at the end of the day, Encompass cares about its customers. I am a testimony to that because Encompass has hired its customer. That's me. <laughs> they hired their customer to help understand their customers. Um, and that goes into our other value propositions okay thank you for enlightening us on who is encompassed now reggie i can go to anywhere i can go to this company to that company why why and remember 30 seconds this is a challenge why choose encompass over everybody okay Diverse parts, so uh, it saves you time and money. You, you'll get more first-time completes if you order from a supplier, supplier that has those unique parts uh, um, in addition to the standard parts. Customer service, right? Busy work, uh, things that distract you from your business, you know, found up on, on uh, whatever fires you might have, uh, an order, a warranty a credit. We have a team of eight people in growing that are at home with a headset on waiting for you to call. And there is no push one or two for, for the, the service department. No. And within four rings, hello? <laughs> it's direct. It's direct. It's direct. Line. And they're going to answer your calls. And they have, there's no, oh, let me go, let me go see if I get, uh, you know, permission from my manager. To, I don't have the, no, they got the tools they need to solve your problems. Uh, okay. So again, business partner compared to this a place you're buying parts from you know i'm not i'm not endorsed by compass hey, hey i'm sorry let me add i'm sorry bro let me add one more thing Please. that number <laughs> which is it we're talking about but how do you get to them uh one eight five five i'm gonna write it hold on one eight, eight five 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 seven five fix me or you can email them at Fix me at encompass.com. That's it. Now, now, Reg, if, if if I may have the honor, can I go on a personal less than 30 second rant on why I I like doing business with Encompass? That'd be perfect. And again, I'm not paid, although, you know, I, I am a free agent looking for, you know, the right organization to partner with. So I, too, can get into the sales game. But I digress. Listen, I'm going to speak now to my subscriber based directly. Y'all know me now. I've been putting on YouTube now six, seven years. My, my reputation is airtight in this industry. Everybody knows that, you know, I'm solid. And when it comes to Encompass, you know, 
my honest opinion on y'all is one of y'all strengths is the diversity. You guys, from a person like myself, who's whose factory authorized Bertizzoni, whose factory authorized Hisense, whose factory authorized Mydea, and, and you know, a few other outfits, you know, it, it feels good, man. Liberia. It feels good when, you know, I can go on your site, open up your parse diagram, exploded views, you know, get the parts that I need, the diversification. I love it with y'all. Right. Another thing that I like about y'all, you guys put a lot of, you, you guys are, are, are selfless organization when it comes to training. You don't really charge too much, if any, if you ever. I don't think y'all ever charged. We used to have 20 bucks, but yeah, now zero. You guys, but but you know what? It's one thing not to charge, but you guys are consistently training. You know, okay, I'm not going to charge, but I give you one or two a year. No, not with a compass. You guys are doing it back to back to back to back. Reggie, and again, I'm not getting paid for this, but I need my audience to know that look, if we're gonna if we're gonna buy parts from somebody, right? We're gonna we're gonna do business with somebody. I'm I'm only could speak on the experience that I'm having with these companies. How about how about ASTI? Let's be clear. The biggest, boldest Super Bowl award winning performance hands down well CoreCentrics gave y'all a run for y'all money <laughs> CoreCentrics did they think but nonetheless in the parts in the parts sphere in the parts sphere i like that you guys are embracing the technology right i like that you guys are social reggie there's no other parts distributor out there that has a reggie williams Right. What you're doing for the industry, your YouTubes, leaning on your rep, leveraging encompasses uh, clientele base and partnering that with the single operators for them to grow. Right. You know, encompass, man. I, and I say this and I'm not getting paid, although, Reg, you should get the checkbook ready. But, we'll talk about <laughs> that but look, for real, for real, man. I, I'm part of a lot of companies that sell parts, but Encompass is uh, in the appliance repair wave. They are definitely doing their thing, and I've seen their journey. I've seen them go from zero to hero. Yeah. And congratulations, and and I'm glad that I'm part of y'all. You know, uh, one of y'all customers. Thank you, brother. And and to the piggyback on what you said, man. Uh, what, another reason why Encompass was a perfect is a perfect fit for me is that they embody uh, everything I believe, and that's embracing the little guy. You know, when I'm in my storage unit and I didn't have a rep visit me, and I know I could I could definitely been a big guy, especially what I know now. Uh, but you know, there's you know, you go to Facebook groups. I mean, actually, Facebook groups are so more intuitive now than they used to be. You get a lot of help from there too, but. Um, the fact that Encompass understands base hits win baseball games. While competitors out here trying to hit home runs, looking for these mega companies, right? Now we do too, but what you know, a lot of these folks on the mega companies, we understand. Hey, a lot of little companies will make one big mega one, and a lot mm. of little ones turn into the mega ones, mm. right? <laughs> and but how do you do that, right? You help. You help with. Hiring a, 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 a rep that represents your customer base, the guy that worked out of his garage, um, giving them tools like Easy Stock. I would have loved that as a tech. A truck inventory. For, 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 those, for those who are watching that perhaps don't know what Easy Stock is, in a very brief summary, would you mind explaining what the Easy Stock is, please? Yep. So easy stop, a truck inventory management app. It's in your, your app store and it's free. Free. 
Uh, and so iTunes this, and Play and Play Store. Yep. Um, Android and, this, and iPhones, right? Both. Yep. Both. Okay. Yeah, both. Uh, so you can you can manage your inventory on the app. You can order from the app. You can do automatic reorders from the app. Oh, and by the way, if your other truck has that part on his truck, you can you can search it on the app. Or, and there's another option too, this, this is something you can turn on or off if you like. If you want to know what other techs in the area may have that, and if they have it turned on, if they want to share, um, that may have that part. Now, you won't see their inventory, but it'll say, hey, he has, Bob has this part. And Bob can volunteer to put his number on there so you can Man, reach and sell the part. That's invaluable, bro. Right. Man, a lot of these companies now, man. And you know what, Reg? I think I speak for all the technicians out there. I'd like to give a little pushback, friendly pushback. <laughs> but what's up with everybody closing at 4 p.m.? That's unheard of. Uh, yeah. And you know what? That easy stock app, what you just said, opens up a whole new area of opportunities right because if i'm out there and this past four which how many of us work past for all of us do and i need something and there's somebody in my area man I, that 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 app could get me out of that bond there you go so let's run our list again <laughs> and come as our hardest customer easy stock app uh well i wish we can I don't know if you guys are Star Wars fans, but I wish we could be like the Caminos and, and just clone a bunch of reps to, to give to our customers. <laughs> but we, we, we're, we're working on it. We're not there yet. Um, so in the meantime, we'll assist with training, right? Um, you know, again, and again, this is, you know, Encompass represents what I feel I need as a tech. Uh, training, right? Um, and training at no cost. Because now I'm not spending money that I could put back into my business. You know, you invest in yourself. I believe in that. But free training, right? Yeah. And tech to tech training. Tech to tech training. A lot of our yeah, trainers there. These this these are you know previous technicians. Uh, you'll have uh, uh, trainers that that's their job to train, and so they're they're they, they're heavily heavily invested in knowing what they know and doing what they do. Uh, virtual, uh, in person, and uh, again, this is a call to action. Le leverage your part spin into a, a distributor that invests in you. Yes, you know. And and, and and tell me about the parts town merger, please. That was pretty big. Oh yeah, man. You talk about the perfect marriage, man. Um, parts town. If you're in a commercial game. And you, you almost have to get your parts from Parts Town, right? <laughs> they've got so many partnerships and companies that they've acquired. And I mean, they even got their own service team. Um, and so uh, Encompass was a uh, way of them getting into the, 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 the uh, commercial, the, the residential side, right? Oh, right, right, right. Right. Um, and so, you know, I mean, you know, big pockets, right? So, Picking and choosing, huh? Who will be the best fit for us, <laughs> right? And who has the most potential to grow, you know? And it was Encompass, you know? Uh, well, okay. Diversity, training, leveraging, and the website. The parts exploded, the pictures, the service manuals that's on there. You know, you guys are, ha let, let's let's wrap up now with one final thing. You guys are having a big event. Right. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about who's going to be there, a little bit of the itinerary, and why it's important for everybody to show up to this event. So this event was born out of, now there's a lot of great trade shows. I um, love ASTI, you got PSA. Um, but not everybody can make those. And some people that can, right, is unsure. As a tech myself, I wanted to go, but I'm like, man, you got to pay airfare, hotel, and you, you, you out of your shop for a week, you off your truck for a week. That's a huge investment in risk, right? And I didn't know anything about it. Uh, now I know those shows are 
well worth the investment. Well, again, Encompass being a, a company after my own heart, now we have our own trade show called Encompass Day, the largest free training event of the year in this industry. Talk about it. Talk about it. All you got to do is going to have there. Who, all you got to do is get there. Who's well, some me, of the all stars? Yeah. Who, who can we expect to be there? <laughs> so, uh, man, some dude out of Florida, the school. What's the name of it again? Uh, some guy. Starts with a B. Starts with a B. Something with a B. Florida Zone I mean. TMM Academics. Uh, <laughs> and, and I call you, dude. You are the the, the appliance, uh, appliance industry utility knife. Uh, you run a service company. You run a, 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 a training school, and you know you, you do, you do refrigerate. The fact you know refrigeration, bro. Like everybody's trying to get in that game. Um, those are huge assets, man. So I had to have you, bro. <laughs> thank you, thank you. But who else? There's that that guy from Florida. He's okay, but there's some certainly some rock stars. And if I may, I think Vulcan Lockrin. Yep, uh, it's co-sponsored. It's co-sponsored again this year. By American Vulcan Lockering. High uh, sense. Jesse, yep. Jesse will be out um, talking Lockering. We're going to give away. Now, here's the, the finale, right? We're giving away a Vulcan, uh, <laughs> uh, a Vulcan <laughs> Lockering kit. We're giving away another kit. Like last year, we gave away two. So this year, we're giving away one. But we also want to give away training in Florida directly. From American Vulcan Lockering, so you you gonna get to Florida and go right to the HQ of American Vulcan Lockering and get a and get their free class. But it was not free, but it's, it's they're raffling off that class. There's gonna be business classes as well. Yes, there's gonna be business classes. Um, we got a, a professional business coach coming in that's gonna teach a class. Ooh. Um, you know, so it's going to be a couple of business classes. Uh, Mr. Don will be back again. Okay. Uh, he, he's our keynote speaker last year. Um, we had a, a guest keynote speaker that you all going to love. I'm not going, to, not going to mention that yet. We got a guest keynote speaker that's going to be a complete rock star. Uh, we're going to cover everything, man. Uh, laundry equipment, kitchen equipment, troubleshooting, refrigeration, uh, you name it, we'll have it. Um, I am, I'm also working on, uh, stay tuned, but I'm working on classes for office staff too. So I'm going to get someone in there um, for office personnel too. So uh, stay tuned. Nice. And, and let me tell them real quick too. Yeah, please. Uh, you, can stay, you can stay updated on what we're doing with virtual training, in-person training, and Encompass Day by going to encompass.com. Scroll down. I believe it's like the second row, maybe third, maybe second row. Scroll down, and you see an icon that uh, says Training Center. You click that for details. For some reason, people forget to scroll. So if you're looking from your phone, it's like it's way down. But <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm getting them to move it to the top. But it's, it's a work in progress. We'll, we'll get there. But yeah, Encompass.com, and you go to our training page. Guys. I want to thank you personally for everything, Mrs. Williams. Listen, I wanna, I wanna, they, they, they're, you guys are so important for for us men that are in the field. You are our backbone. You are, you know, will help us. So thank you, Miss Williams, for being <laughs> part of the show and for your donation and, and your expertise, thank brother you. Reg. As yes, always. Sir. Encompass got them a rock star. I hope they pay you accordingly. Certainly, right. thank you for being on the show. Thank you, you have another way. <laughs> One more time, please go ahead now and uh, go ahead now, Reg, and, and please tell us how to uh, sign up. How many warehouses we have? Because we have viewers on the West Coast, East Coast, North Coast, that way. How many warehouses? Do we yeah, we're everywhere, man. We're everywhere. We're in. Uh, so we just opened up Dallas. So we're in Dallas, Texas. Uh, we're in Las Vegas, Nevada. I got to visit that facility. And, you know, again, we got training centers everywhere, too. Uh, Davie, Atlanta, Florida. Fort Lauderdale, Davie, mm -hmm. Florida. Um, Albany, New York. Uh, Ohio. Mm -hmm. uh, the sun doesn't set on Encompass 
parts. <laughs> fast, fast yeah. shipping, good quality internet, good good inventory stock. If it says there's 12 in there, there's 12 in there. Yeah. Uh, Reg, go ahead and tell us also how to sign up to Encompass Day one more time. Any final plugins? Go ahead now. Yep. The time. So, uh, yep, you can sign up for Encompass Day by going to encompass.com, scroll down, and click the training tab. Um, or you can also look, you can contact me. Uh, you can find anything I talk about by going to Google, put in hashtag lean on your rep, and some will pop up about me. <laughs> My YouTube channel, Encompass, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, Encompass Day. Uh, so you can put that in Google. Uh, you want to find me on YouTube, put lean on your rep and, and, uh, and also Google. And uh, young man, are we ready for the finale? Thank you. Well, not yet, not yet. Okay. Let me shout out the little, the little brother back there. Young man, thank you for being on the show tonight, man. Yeah. What you got to say about all of this? <laughs> he's, he's, on spot. he's nothing like his dad. He's nothing like his dad. Yeah, yeah, he is. He, he actually is. is. He's a little artist, man. He's uh, he, he loves Legos. He, he got he, it's in him. <laughs> well, I love the family, man. I love I love your family. God bless you, man. Thank you, man. God bless hey, you. Thank you. Oh, big, you. Whoa, look at that apparatus. There you go. There you go. Uh, Reg, thank you for being on the show. Go ahead, Reg, and go. go. I, I, there's something you wanted to say, please. Yeah. Well, I want to say I appreciate it. Hashtag tech uh, to rep. Yeah, tech to rep. Hang on, I'm, 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 there's new catchphrase I'm, I'm, I'm trying out. Tech to rep. From tech to, to lean rep. on oh. your yeah. rep. Yeah. Appreciate you, brother. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Another episode of YouTube's premiere, Off the Clock, Appliance Repair Talk for Off the Clock, Appliance Repair Text. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you was here with us, and we appreciate you. Ladies and gentlemen, please go on over to Encompass.com. Please sign up, get the best prices, best diversity, shipping rates, availability. Tell them that Brother B sent you. Brother Reg, Miss Williams, young man, your brother, and the cat. Don't forget the cat. <laughs> to, the whole Williams, to the whole Williams squad. You could have been anywhere in the world that you was with me. And I appreciate it. Love, peace, and harmony. Thank you, bro. And I appreciate you allowing me to tell my story, man. Bye, Brandon. Lot. Thank you. Good evening. I'll see y'all next month. In of course. We'll see now, you soon. April, guys, April 19th. Through the 20th, guys, yep. to my subscribers, don't miss it. Please nope. show up. How much it costs, Reg? Zero. Hey, no. wait, we forgot to say. No TMM at uh, the, our Davy location oh. in two weeks. <laughs> if you're in the share. South Florida area <laughs> and you want the best, how much is the, the, the training in South Florida, Reg? How oh, much that's going to cost? It was uh, oh. zero. Yeah, it's zero dollars. <laughs> <laughs> if you want the best refrigeration training in South Florida, please March 17th, uh, Encompass Day in Davie, Florida, South Florida, right? March 17th, right, Reg? Uh, yeah, yeah, I believe so. We'll put it in the comment section. <laughs> no, it's like a 20-something. It, it, it's not this Monday, it's but the, the next it's one. It's the 25th. Miss Williams, she knows. She knows Ms. Williams, can I... Can I have you recircle and put that in the comment section? <laughs> I, I got you, Brandon. No worries. It's on the website. Guys, we'll see guys, I can't wait to see y'all. Uh, I love y'all. Oh, and guys, don't forget to my audience. You want to show up on the uh, the day before because there's a networking event. A networking yeah, we can't see me nothing. A networking yeah. event. That's where you get to one-on-one, -on -one, talk to the manufacturers, talk to your fellow colleagues. Get a tour of the warehouse, see how things are done, mm -hmm. and there's free beer. That's right. We get some booze. <laughs> <laughs> With all that said, ladies and gentlemen, thank y'all for being on the show. Guys, love, peace, and harmony. Love y'all. See y'all next month. Thanks, man. Bye, Brandon. Bye. Good night, guys. Thanks. <laughs>